Avalanches kill about 150 people every year. One of the main reasons is because of its speed. Avalanches can travel up to 56 miles per hour. There are four main things avalanches are caused by. A steep slope, snow cover, a weak layer in the snow cover, and a trigger. After one hour, only one in three victims buried in an avalanche is found alive. The most common causes of death are suffocation, wounds, and hypothermia. Highways and roads are often too close to mountains. Therefore, they have to close them to reduce risk of injury or death. Today we will be talking about avalanches. If you don't already know, an avalanche is a rapid flow of snow down a hill or a mountainside. Certain places have higher risk of avalanches, such as in America, more of the northwest part has avalanches, and the rest are located in Antarctica and um, South Asia. In your yard. Avalanches can all be much anything in its way. Once an avalanche starts, it's pretty much no stopping you. Avalanche is made up of snow, ice, and rocks. It will harm the ecosystem by destroying. Avalanche is made up of snow, ice, and rocks. It will harm the ecosystem by destroying trees and soil. If an animal ever gets caught in an avalanche, it will either be buried by snow or have a high chance of dying. How to prevent an avalanche? Well, unfortunately, avalanches cannot be prevented. However, they can be controlled, and how to control them is by creating small avalanches when there is nobody on the slope. And how they do this is by using explosives or artillery fire. But before they are able to start this process, staff and researchers have to analyze the snow facts. And they do that by digging pits, looking at each layer, or they use radar, radar technology. To prevent yourself from being in an avalanche, it is important to check the slope you're going on for avalanche activity and be able to recognize signs of an avalanche forming. If you find yourself on a slope with an avalanche, try to get off the mountain. If you get caught in an avalanche, keep one arm up and move your other hand in front of your face if you're in an air bubble. When rescuing someone from an avalanche, look in the snow for clothing and other items in the snow. And remember, even the largest avalanches triggered by small things.